and now there is a face off in the campus over bible bengaluru is where this face off has erupted after the hijab now a bible battle of words in a school the bengaluru school wants bible undertaking now the school has stated and i quote the school here kids need to carry a bible to school so what has happened is that the saffron groups are claiming that this is a forced bible study uh, this the matter has clearly now escalated while the school has said the kids need to now carry a bible to school uh, the saffron groups are claiming that this is a school forcing bible on non christians so that's a big news coming in remember karnataka has been at the forefront right now facing a lot of these similar issues whether it is some girls are uh, demanding to wear the head scarf or even the burqa to their educational institutions now it is a school that has said children need to carry a bible to the school and are taking an undertaking for that but the saffron groups are now claiming this is forcing children who are non christians to study the bible so another uh, face of there appears to be emerging how will the big, uh, the Bengaluru administration and uh, Karnataka government and administration handle this listen into some reactions that have come in on this story बेंगलोर के रिचर्ड रोड में जो क्लैरेंस हाई स्कूल है यहाँ जो बच्चे एडमिशन लेते हैं उनके लिए बाइबल कैरी करना बाइबल पढ़ना बाइबल शिक्षण कंपलसरी बनाया है ये जो उन्होंने डिक्लेरेशन एडमिशन लेते समय डिक्लेरेशन किया है ये जो नॉन क्रिश्चियन स्टूडेंट वहाँ बच्चे पढ़ते हैं उनके लिए ज़बरदस्ती एक पर्टिकुलर कम्युनिटी का शिक्षा लेना बाइबल पढ़ना बाइबल सीखना बाइबल कैरी करना उनके ऊपर धार्मिक राइट्स का हरण बेंगलुरु um they claim that they are bible they provide bible based education so the what the parents who want their kids to be a part of this school should accept this so if they don't want to then they don't need to actually uh join or seek admission to this particular school but as of now the uh, uh one of the groups over here has stated that this goes against article 25 and 30 of the constitution uh many uh, many parents have been complaining but uh, when i spoke to some of the uh, school authorities they say that we don't force anyone if they want to be a part of the school or join the school they follow the school rules uh, just like how the government said if you uh, with the hijab issue if the school says no hijab then you have to follow the rules it's the same thing over here if you're not happy with the rules of the school then you can you know, seek admission in some other place so this is the issue as of now okay. but uh, the hindu jana jagruti uh, samiti clearly says that this goes against uh, or is a violation so, of article so, uh, nolan because this matter appears to have already escalated how do you think the administration is ensuring this does not become another hijab row and controversy for karnataka to manage well in fact uh, under the minority rules uh, minority institutions have their own separate rules uh, when compared to government run schools so they can come out with their own Uh, uh, rules and regulations. Now, most of the Christian schools itself, uh, when the hijab controversy took place, Christian schools itself never allowed as such uh, uh, girls or students to wear hijab because they had their own rules. So, these the Christian-run schools fall under the minority institutions with separate set of rules. So, this is what they tell us that we have our rules. Um, okay. If anyone wants admission over here or seeks admission, has to follow these rules. If they are not happy with it, no one's forcing them. They can always seek admission okay. in another school. All right so for now it appears that only there are some uh, groups the saffron groups that have picked up on this issue uh, what really happens to it we'll uh, wait and watch nolan will be tracking all the latest on this big story